Okay, I decided to come in Genesis' room and steal his room because he has an empty bed. Hi, he has an empty bed and I want to jump on it. <laughs> I decided to jump on the bed because yesterday Miley asked me, what do you do to like get out some stress if you need it? And I decided that jumping on the bed uh, is a good way to get out some stress and a good way to celebrate the release of my book, More My Self. Woo! <laughs> Am I crazy? Come on. Come on, this is it right here. This is the vibe. So I stole Genesis' room. I stole it so I could get up in here and see, man, that's a workout. Jumping on beds. I love y'all. How are you feeling? Today is the beautiful release of the More Myself book and I've seen you already tapping in and telling me that you've, been, you've gotten your copy or you've gotten your Audible or you got it delivered or you got the ebook or whatever you got. It's right here, live and direct, bong bong. So that's why I was having a jump on the bed dance party with y'all. Before Genesis come back, he's downstairs, I ran away from him. And I came up here to celebrate with y'all, woo! You know, because, yes, Barbara, happy birthday to you. And I know that so much is happening and we are, going through what we're feeling and we're just trying to make everything make sense. So it feels like we've officially called this the quarantine read. Thank you for the congratulations. This is the quarantine read of 2020. And you know, just thinking about how much self-reflection is just where we are right now. You know what I mean? That's like what we're thinking about and that's what we're going through and what we're figuring out and connection to each other, connection to ourselves, connection to the world, like where are we, you know what I mean? So I think this is the perfect time and to be thinking about that and like who do we want to be and who, who do we want to be, not who people told us to be, you know what I mean? Who, it won't be there till Thursday, it's okay, it's coming. Come on, we together, we together. So I wanna, I wanna know how have you, how have you become more yourself, you know, especially during this time? Do you feel like it's helping you become more of who you wanna be or is it freaking out? Are you freaking out? Like, how are you feeling? And what are you doing to just kind of continue to lift yourself up and Yes, appreciate the little things in life. I have definitely been feeling like that too. Like, you know, it's chapter five, Mamiya. <laughs> you reading, you getting it in. But I also have been feeling so much like, you know, the simplest things are bad. Is my reception bad again? I feel like it's not. No freaking out. That's right, Barbara Johnson. This time is giving me more God time. I love that. Gardening like a crazy person. You know, the audio. I'm so glad y'all are connected to the audio. You know, my sister Michelle Obama, Jay is on it, Swiss is on it, Oprah, Bono, America Ferreira have all like contributed their thoughts and their feelings and things like that. So I'm so excited for you to hear the audio book because you hear their perspective oh who's singing who's out here singing and i love your beautiful soul too and praying a lot yes praying is the vibe that is absolutely it so i actually have one of my dearest sweetest sisters standing by to connect with us hey zo can you send me like a little hand wave so i can grab you in so you can connect with us Let's see if we can find it, because we're going to do some bed jumping. Some more bed jumping together. It's the release of the More Myself book. 
And we are celebrating ourselves. We're celebrating our growth. We're celebrating our intentions. We're celebrating our love for each other. That's right, birthday love. You know, that's what we're here to do. We're looking deeper into ourselves. We're thinking about who we want to be. And I'm trying to bring a special friend. Oh, on the dog is the daily vibe. What about that piano version? Did y'all hear that piano? I never played on the dog on just piano before. That was so, uh, that was so special. Wow, you got, if I ain't got you tattooed on your rib. What's up, y'all? We talking about more myself. It's the release of More Myself right now. Right now, all the versions live. The book, you can order it straight to your crib. It can be your favorite quarantine read. Oh, Emily. Hi, baby. How are you? Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to see you. I'm thinking about you. Hey, Zoe, send me a little, send me a little hand wave so I can bring you in because I can't find you. Let me see if I can find you. Come on, Zoe. Where you at, girl? You know, you be trying to find people on this thing. It's like kind of hard. Do you ever try to do that? It's like really difficult. I think I think I can do it. I think I can do it though. Is this working? Hold on, it's gonna be worth it. I'm trying to find what we're doing in here, making it happen. Man, that is super not working. Let's see, requests. Is this working? Lenny, what's good? How, how you feeling, Lenny? I'm thinking about you. All right, this is not even working at all. Hold on, I'm gonna keep trying. Now I gotta get this thing out of here. All right, I'm gonna keep trying to find it, but we keep jumping around celebrating. Yes, before Genesis come up and try to jump on a bed with me. Zoe for a minute for our bed jump celebration. Like Zoe. Ah! <laughs> What's going on? It worked. This is the this is my first IG live. You are an IG live virgin. I am. And no longer now. Ugh, it just feels so great. You know what I'm saying? This See? Is everything, it's everything I wanted it to be. <laughs> with the person you wanted it to be with, you see? Yes. Hi, sis. Hi, sister. I'm so grateful to see you. How are you feeling? I'm good. I'm okay today. It's been, it's been gnarly. <laughs> yeah, it really is. It really is kind of gnarly. But I'm, you know, I'm, I'm healthy and I'm grateful and happy to see your face and be able to see people's faces who I love you know it's so it's bringing so much comfort FaceTime is bringing so much comfort can you believe it how how FaceTime is like you know these zooms and these moments that we can just connect together is so good it's so yeah. good I was I was saying I was jumping on the bed because because I was one celebrating the release of my book more myself <laughs> exciting yeah. and two um, I feel like you got to let some energy out sometimes. Yeah. Yes. So, yes. So that's yes. what I was just like. Got to get the blood moving. I'll jump with you. Come on. Let's celebrate. I can't spill my wine though, you know? No, no, don't spill the wine. Don't spill the wine. <laughs> <laughs> See, Zoe's on another time zone than me. So we are jumping yeah, together this from- a, This is an appropriate glass of wine. It's like- It is. Eight o'clock here. <laughs> super, super appropriate glass of wine. So, I mean, I was just thinking- you know, thinking about becoming more yourself and, and how difficult that is sometimes. Like, and to me, you, you know, you've been, you're my sister. I've known you since, we've both known each other since like babyhood. And how do you, how do you keep becoming more of yourself? Like, how do you find the ways to keep connecting to who you are as opposed to you know what you think you're supposed to be have you ever felt like you were supposed to be somebody oh of course else? i think i think that's like you know growing up that's like the journey of grow growing up from being a, you know a teenager in your early 20s all you're trying to do is figure out who you want to be and we all i think try and imitate everyone else for so long and it take we spend so much energy doing that you know right right and I think for, for, I mean, for me, I, I had to just get so tired of 
I was like, oh, why am I spending my energy doing this? Like trying to imitate, you know, looking or acting or sounding like someone else. Mm. No? Um, well, when did you know that? Because like, you know, you know, you know, kind of, I think sometimes we ought to, um, we want to be who we are, but when do you actually know what you like versus what you kind of been shown? That's a good question. Um, I mean, I think just the older you get and as time goes on, you realize how important your happiness is. I think a lot of people, including myself, put our happiness on the sidelines just to try and fit in or just to try to, you know, beautiful or important or smart, you know, and when you realize that your happiness is really everything, you'll do anything mm. to protect your happiness, right? You got to protect yeah. it. Yes. You got to be yourself because it makes you feel happy, you know, and if, and, and as an artist too, it's like, I, can, I don't know how to make art if I'm not being honest. I don't know how to do that. That's, 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 you know, that's so beautiful. And someone just wrote, you know, maybe there's something to kind of even emulating the people that are beautiful in your life or the people that have a positive impact on you until you find your own path. I thought that was interesting. Somebody said that because I think what happens for us, um, us meaning all of us, is that, you know, we're emulating whatever it is we see. So we're em emulating sometimes the narcissism or we're emulating sometimes the, the negativity or we're emulating, you know, what's around us might not necessarily always be good for us. But yeah. I thought it was a beautiful technique that someone just wrote that if you are around those things, perhaps finding, even if you don't know these people, finding things that bring you happiness, finding the yeah. people that bring a light to you and emulating that until you can figure out what's what feels right for you is a, is a nice that for me was that that was you cool know that for me you guys i met alicia when i was 15 years old and you just you adopted me you did you you, you were like i'm your big sister and that's right you know having women like you in my life from such a young age you know when you're trying to figure out who you are who are a encouraging you to be themselves and also you know, not just talking the talk, but walking the walk, you know, I watched you, you know, figure out who you are and it's beautiful to see and inspiring to see. And I'm like, fuck yeah, I want to be like you. I want to be like, her. you know, and, and, and what I mean when I say that is that I want to be myself because I see you right. being yourself, you know, I know exactly what, I know exactly what you mean. And I, that's so amazing. And thank you for sharing that and for celebrating this special moment with me and for walking in your truth and, you know, being such a beacon for young women to just be unique and be totally off the beaten path and carve your own way and just, you know, just, just continuous to find who we are. And that's what this book is changing. all about. You know, not being afraid of changing either, because, mm -hmm. you know, especially when, like in your position or especially when people are making money off of you, like, it's like, don't change. This works, you know, Ooh, the braids, they work. Mm. Right. Oh, this, you know, <laughs> this, this kind of song for you, this works, don't change, you know? And it's like, fuck that. Keep on evolving, keep on changing, you know, that's keep on right. finding who you are more, you know, and that's what it feels like your book's about. And that is so inspiring too, because people get stuck and oh. then, and then the fear keeps us there, you know? Absolutely. Oh my gosh, you're dropping all these jewels. <laughs> I just wanted to have our little homegirl jump around moment because you are such a sister to me and you have witnessed me become more of myself and I in turn am witnessing you become more yourself and everybody who's checking in on our chat, we want you to continue to become just more yourself. Keep searching and seeking and I love you, Zoe. I love you, sis. I'm so proud of you. And I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful to have this to read in this quarantine. I'm just, Ooh. I'm so excited. Ooh. So oh, mama, you're amazing. Enjoy your wine. Take some time. I'm so happy and proud of all the work that you're doing, the writing that you're doing, the shows that you're bringing forth. You are such a brilliant mind. And man, oh, man, it's incredible to watch. So keep going, Zoe. I love you. We I'm love so proud you. of you. Thank Celebrate you. today. Don't stop celebrating. That's right. Jump around. Mm. Woo! Mm. Love you, Zoe. Talk love to you, you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>
All right, look at that, my homegirl Zoe. I'm still still in Genesis room, celebrating the release of More Myself, my book right here. Oh my goodness, and the hard copy, but it's good vibes. And I see you all, I'm seeing so much love and I, 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 I'm so excited to continue to talk to you guys and hear your experience about being more yourself. I wonder if M Emily is still on here because I saw that go by. I would love to see you again. And it's my other sweet friend on here that I would love to bring in the chat with us because we're celebrating, we're celebrating our life. We're celebrating, hmm, for those, what was the moment that put me on the journey of becoming more myself? It was a, an accumulation of moments for sure. You know, it, it, it wasn't just one, but I definitely think there was this one particular time when I just realized that I was so armored and so masked up. And what I mean by when I say armored and masked up, I mean like, um, I, I felt like I had to put this armor on in order to survive and put this armor on in order to really uh, make it. And I, I didn't want to be a robot anymore. You know what I mean? And here comes my other sister. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Alisa. You'll have to excuse me. I was just um, having lunch with the with the kiddo, Aww, but I'm I saw to you. Take you away. No, no, no. He's he's got plenty of mama these days, so don't worry about it. <laughs> um, I but I saw you, and I wanted to celebrate. Thank your you. book. <laughs> more myself and the most amazing thing one of my favorite things about the book is the way that my friends have been able to share some of their our experiences through their lens and you are one that has you know created an intro for one of the chapters and it was just so amazing how we connected too yeah it just i mean i i was just i was i was honestly watching you from afar and I was looking at you like, this girl is so badass. Mm. And she is so on in her strength. She's so in her focus. And you're such a warrior. And, you know, I was just noticing that you are from afar. And I was like, I need to know her more. Mm. And I've always admired your work. And I've always admired. But the more that you grow, the more I see what you represent and just stand in. And the beauty that's inside of you that is really like a pure love. And I remember I literally oh. stalked you a little bit. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> you did. And I have to say, like, first of all, freaking out because, like, you have always been such a, you know, uh, just a, to me, like, hey, I grew up worshiping your music and your voice and, um, mm -hmm. and, and, and your energy and your light and your love and the love you put into the world. And I mean, even since you were just, like a teenager coming on the scene, you exuded that um, love. And that was always so beautiful and inspiring. And so I remember when you texted me, I think we had a mutual friend and you're like, hey, it's Alicia, like, <laughs> let's hang out. And I told my husband and I was like, is someone punking me? Like, what's happening? And you're like, I'll come to your house. I'm like, what if this is someone coming to murder me? Like, I don't know if this is actually Alicia Keys coming to the house. Like, I don't know what's happening. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, it was so amazing to get to sit and what we talked for like three Ever. hours. The first, I mean, I feel like anytime we talk, it's like a three hour situation. We do. We have, we need, we need to carve out a lot of time because we start going in deep and we start getting in there and, you know, just thinking about you and thinking about, you know, your, you know, how do you navigate really remaining or becoming who you want to be? And and especially when that is always changing, how does that go? Yeah. You? Yeah. I mean, listen, it's a, it's a, a live ongoing process. I, I think, you know, I can really look back at the last 10 years of my life and I'm amazed at how much, growth there's been in my life and, and how much I've stepped up into uh, a different version of myself that feels more like me. I think, you know, when you're younger, you are your beliefs, your value systems, 
you know, what drives you, your image of yourself is so defined by, by your environment and who you grew up with and what you were exposed to and, and, you know, all kinds of things and people who, who were helping you shape and form your view of the world. And, and that process of sort of, you know, moving away from, from that inherited worldview into something that is your own is a really hard one and really scary. And, um, you know, it's, it, it, um, it requires support. And for me, I mean, I think it looks different for everybody, but for me, like I couldn't have done any of it without therapy. I think like therapy, um, number one proponent of therapy was a huge right. thing for me. Right. Um, um, but also there were times where like physical challenges and, you know, exercising. And I, you know, I, I started training for a triathlon and at the amount of personal growth and, and learned about myself, through pushing myself to like a physical challenge was was a, it was a spiritual experience like yes it was obviously deeply physical but it was also really about like seeing who I am and you know I think that it's about practice it's like once you hear once you can contact your own voice and say like yeah that sounds like me that sounds like my gut is telling me this is the direction I want to go and this is what I want like you have to build the muscle to listen to that voice. Cause it's one thing to hear it. And another thing. And it's, a, <laughs> it's a whole other thing to be like, I'm taking that leap or I'm taking that chance or I'm, you know, cutting ties with this that doesn't serve me anymore. Or I'm, <laughs> you know, taking a bet on myself. That, that to me is where the real muscle lies. Like you can't build a muscle for trusting yourself until you do the really scary, uncomfortable thing of like, jumping into the deep end and, 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 and acting on like what you know is true for you. Mm, oh my gosh. And that's so hard. And I personally am intimate with that because I, I personally have a lot of voices that are always either in my head or around me. And I think sometimes even when you're around a lot of strong minded people, you yeah, know, that, that's oftentimes even harder because you have to find your way to be clear about what it is that you want, even when these very strong-minded people are kind of giving you your their opinions. But this idea of really tuning in to the internal and, 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 and listening to that first voice, to this day, I find myself having to remind myself, stop double thinking it. Like, stop, stop doing that. You already know yeah. what your instinct was. Like, go with that first instinct. You know what it is. And you know that when you ignore that instinct, like, you cut to, like, why didn't I listen to myself? Like, uh. I do it. And even if you mess up, even, that's the other thing, is, like, people are going to mess up. No one's perfect. You're going to be wrong. You're going to make choices that you maybe regret or think, huh, maybe it would have been better if I went the other way. But, but mistakes are a part of it. And, like, learning from your own mistakes is more important than keeping yourself from learning anything because you're learning because because then you have to learn from other people's mistakes, which is like worse. <laughs> like this reminds me of because and it's more disempowering, right? At the very least, if you make a choice and, and it's bad, it's like, well, I made the best choice I could with what I knew. But if you just yes. make a choice because that's what people around you are telling you you should do, even if it goes against your gut. Then you're like, they were wrong. And I'm listening to the wrong people. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. Yeah, so. and that, that does make you more angry. It really it does. does. That, that angers you. It's true. It's America, true. America is so special to me. Aww. I just adore you. I, I thank you for celebrating with me today with the release of my book, More Myself. You also have a beautiful book that's in the world. And, you know, it's really gorgeous to be able to hear different people's perspectives and thoughts and the, the words you contributed to More Myself and also the audio book, too. It just really creates. I really do hope that we're, you know, in this time, I think the self-reflection is kind of what we're being asked to do. And so that process is an ongoing process forever. We're all trying to figure it out. So I have a feeling we'll all have a lot to talk about and, and more to come. And I just want to send you all my love. Well, I can't wait to read your book. I'm waiting for it to come in the mail. I know mail's a little slow these days, but it'll be a great comfort when it gets here. And I'm so proud of you. And and just on a person, like, I mean, even if I didn't know you, like, your 
you're such an inspiration and your light and what you put into the world is so powerful. And I'm just so grateful for you in the world. And, and I'm also just so grateful for you as a friend. So thank you. And I can't wait to read your book. Oh, you're amazing, America. Have a good time with your sweet little angel that I want to eat. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. And thank you for everything you do too. And I'll talk to you super soon. Okay. Bye. Uh, bye. Yoo-hoo! You see? More bed jumping, more myself. And that's okay if it hasn't come to you yet because you could get the audible version and you could listen to my voice. Or you could get the ebook and just download it and you know have it on your phone or on your device. Right? Right? Because today is the day and I'm realizing that we just want to continue to become who we want to be, you know? And I hope you're jumping on the bed with me because it's really therapeutic to jump on the bed. I'm also cool with like screaming super, super loud at the top of your lungs, you know, if you need to do that too. I know Jen's not coming up. <laughs> I stole this room. See all his little thingies? I stole this room and he's probably like, what is mommy doing in my room? <laughs> but, um, Man, I'm just thinking about you guys. I want to sell. I want to thank you so much for your support on every level, and for us connecting more about, you know, who we are and who we want to be. I remember there's this one story in the book where I told my mama that I was going to see one movie, and then I was really going to see another movie. You know, like you told you you're going to see the PG and then you actually went to go see the R. And my mother's no joke, y'all. She was not even trying. She grilled me so hard. She knew I was lying. And she was like, she just, she didn't even have to tell me that I was. And, and let me tell you, her spirit, even though I do call her like a little, she's a lawyer by heart. So she'll like lawyer me out and make me have to over explain everything. But she has taught me so so much because of that and really being able to, you know, connect and communicate and say what you mean. And also to just not go see the R movie when you're supposed to see the PG-13. Or how about the part when I had to tell her that I thought that, you know, that with music being in my horizon, that I, I might have to leave Columbia, the school, to pursue music. Man, I had to write a whole letter, a whole letter that I had to read to myself in order to convey to her so she wouldn't just rip me all the way up. But you know what? She's also a, a creative soul and a creative spirit. And she she really did understand where I was coming from, but she really did want me to continue to be wise and be smart and continue to learn and grow. And, and she is definitely a woman who has helped me become more myself by showing me, you know, showing me how to stand in my truth and how to make sure that I'm taking care of myself and being focused on what, what makes you grow, what makes you better, you know? So anyway, just a few little funny little stories from in there, but there's a lot of stuff inside. I've been talking about the time that Empire State of Mind almost didn't happen. Gotta read that. So I can't, I can't wait for you to read it. I'm gonna be doing a few like, cool interactive book clubs over the next month. We're definitely going, I'm gonna hop on Twitter and answer some questions over there. You know, I, I, I see my brother OnStar, he has music that just dropped today. We appreciate your light so much. I saw my girl, Emily Sandy for two seconds. I wish she was still here because I would definitely bring her in. She's written some of my favorite songs with me, brand new me. It's been a while. I'm not who I was before. You look surprised. Your words don't bury me anymore. Been meaning to tell you, but I guess it's here to see. Don't be mad. It's just a brand new kind of me. And we wrote that song a minute ago, and I can't even believe how relevant that is to right now and to more myself. Man, so sending Emily super love. She hopped in for a second and, and just, you know, continue to, let's just continue to keep our spirits high. Just continue to pray. Definitely continue to 
be that bright light because we need it from each other right now, you know? We need to feel the light. We need to feel the energy. We need to know, to, to, to share with each other that everything's going to be all right, to know that we're here for each other. You know, it's, it's definitely interesting times and it can feel disconcerting. But one of the things that I've been thinking a lot about is even becoming, oh, worry, I'm about to grab you. I got worry, I'm taking you. This is my brother from the jump. And I want to see you. I'm sorry I did this to you. He's like, I wasn't trying to go on live. I am here. Ah! I love you. I love you. So I'm good. I love you. Good? Is this not crazy? I'm good. No, I'm good. It's crazy, babe. It's definitely Other than crazy. the fact that I can't get a haircut. It's I'm, okay. <laughs> Nobody got a haircut. I'm it's about to get some brows. Right. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but thank God everything is well. I've, I've just been really encouraging people to stay in and stay in a place where they can meditate, where they can get themselves focused yes. and realign. I think this, although it didn't happen the way we wanted it to, mm. The world is taking a break. It's taking a pause. People have to realign. They're rekindling relationships with in their own selves yes. and relationships within the world. Um, I'm currently in DR, and where I am normally when I come, the water is like brown from all the ships and stuff, and the water is clear blue. There's no pollution because nothing is running. I know. It's a, so it's, Mother Nature's giving itself a chance to heal as well it needs as we are healing ourselves. It's so, yeah, it so a break. it's so deep. Everything needed a break. It's so everything deep. needed a break. Wow. And but let, can you just tell the people that uh, how, what's the age that we met? How old were we when we first met? <laughs> well, it was just last year. We were only 12. Uh, <laughs> no, we but we 12? legit met when we were 13. Oh, you were 12. I was 13. You knew me <laughs> since you were 13 yeah. and I was 12. Yeah. And look at us still looking 21. Baby. Baby, I'm saying. Hey. <laughs> and because I'm, you know, I'm sharing with people that my book, More Myself, is out today. And yes. have you, how have you, I mean, I know how you become more yourself. How, how maybe how you said, since you've known me since I was 12, how have you seen mm -hmm. me become more myself? As an adult, I've seen you become more patient with yourself. Mm -hmm. I've seen you give yourself permission to be yourself, which I think is a beautiful thing. Oh, yeah, um, and we've, we've talked about that before because that too was a part of my journey. Um, and I just said that um, in this year, my word was deserving and allowing myself that space to be deserving of what is mine. That's right. You know, there have been places where I've taken myself out of um, certain elements or certain things because I didn't think I deserved to be there. Mm -hmm. But it was important for me to realize that I do deserve. Mm -hmm. And right. I've seen you put that that type of patience and effort um, into yourself, especially more so as a mother. I think something changes mm. because you take care of little people too mm. so it's like how do i become the best me for me but for them as well because mm. you're teaching them how to become big people um but yeah i definitely have seen the patience that you've given yourself wow as time is good that's so powerful so congratulations saying. on your book today thank too thank you babe and let me go so order my copy hey thank you so i got time much. to read yours look is coming, yours is coming too <laughs> But the, but the <laughs> absolutely that's right. But but the um absolutely. this this idea of being deserving, I think, is really really important. Really important because I think we all struggle with that, and we all somehow for some reason, I don't know why, I don't know where it came from. Somewhere in childhood, all these different experiences that we've had, you know, we we get in this place where we don't feel like we deserve good things, or we don't feel like we're going to get good things, or we don't think it's ever going to happen. We don't see. You know, this so this deserving word I think is a really important mantra. And and I myself yeah. have found myself in the mirror at a at a critical time, you know, let, let's call yeah. it like that first Grammys that I hosted. I was like, <laughs> right. I deserve this. I deserve That's right. this. I deserve good things to come. And that's and, right. And so I just want to encourage people. I love how you brought that up. 
to be in your mirror and speak as much, trick your mind to speak as much positivity as you possibly can because we have a habit of only listening to the negative, the negative, the negative. And so we have to right. really say those words. I am deserving. And, and I know how that. I am I, deserving. I, I love what you're saying. And I live with intention of my purpose on purpose. Mm, that's right. That's right. Worry and that's worry. It. So that's, that's the growth. Oh my gosh. And you know, you put me in my first fits, my first look. <laughs> You dress yes. me so fire and just yes. help me find my energy and my light and yes. and be in my comfort because mm-hmm. I think that's another thing is like how do you find a way to be comfortable in your skin? Yeah, because sometimes yes. it's way uncomfortable or you don't know how to find that comfort. I mean, honestly, living in the world that we live in, where there is so much access to comments and judgment mm-hmm. and people who have something to say about everything, but not knowing what's going on on the other side of the lens. That is where we have to tap into who we are, which is why I said this time is important because that meditation is important. It's that time to sit and just absorb and absolve and be with self Mm -hmm. before you can get back. Because by the time we come out of this and being in such a social distance place where we're already emotionally distant Mm -hmm. with each other, So how do we come out of this and then reconnect after finding ourselves? Because this is a time to find ourselves. I hear you. So I have a question for you. You wrote your book, mm-hmm. but during this time, will you reread your book? Yes. Actually, the time, you know, I've, I've reread it a few times just in the different processes because it took about two years to complete. I mean, it takes so long mm-hmm. to put it all together. And so in different incarnations, I've reread it. And every time I, mm-hmm. re- I reread it, it's different parts that I see kind of how it all added up to Mm -hmm. different places where I am right now. And so I I think actually in in this time, it it might be crazier to read it right now, considering (laughs) where we are and what does it mean to be more ourselves, even as a community, as a global community, as, you know, individuals, but also as families, like, Wow, yeah, it's, it's, it's wild. I, yeah. I, I brought up this self reflection word, and it seems like that's what we're needing to do a lot of. So, I'm hoping this is funny. You would say that I came out here on vacation, I carry journals with me everywhere I go, and it's funny that I've ended up reflecting by reading my journals. I haven't really written in them because this is a lot of to process what's happening right now, right? But I've been reading them, right? And it's interesting to see how I saw myself and how I see myself now. Mm. So, yeah. I'm amazing. I, I am so yeah. with you. I'm so, I'm going to jump in on the bed to celebrate our life <laughs> and to celebrate Absolutely. Our life and love each other. And so I want to love for you to let out some anxiety <laughs> or anxiousness. And just tell you that yes, I love you. Yes, thank you. And I'm so glad to see you. And I'm I love so happy you so I much. Me too. I love you. All right. Mwah. Talk to Be you soon. Good. Be stay safe, safe, okay? Give my love to the family. We will. I love you. All right. Bye, babe. Bye. Well, y'all, that was so fire. We had Zoe Kravitz jump in the space just celebrating the release of our quarantine read, More Myself that, you know, I'm so excited for us to continue to become because like we're all looking for who we are (laughs) and we're jumping around just trying to let it all out, let it all go. I think my phone is about to die. So I just wanted to thank y'all just so, so much for the energy and the light that you're giving. And and don't forget that it, it may seem small, but that energy that you give, that light, that smile, that, that, that it's going to be okay, that we're going to make it through is really air for all of us right now so keep keep bringing it keep your frequency high you know try your best that even if you're feeling anxious or even if you're feeling you know worried or anything that's going on because that's real too you know that you are knowing that we are all going through this together and that it is going to turn around and that this is a time for us to reach deep inside and pull out the things that we need to learn about ourselves, know about ourselves, change about ourselves, you know, help each other, be kind to each other, 
you know, um, I'm thinking about you. Thank you for reading. Going to be, like I said, connecting in and getting even deeper on the stories and your own your own ways that you've been becoming more of yourself because because I know we're all doing it. So lots of love. More myself. We got the audio book. Check out Audibles. We got the Kindles. We got the eBooks. And you can order at Barnes & Nobles, Target, Amazon. Come straight to your door. I'm thinking about you so much. I thank you for your light inside and for your beautiful energy, for everything you're working on and everything that you're creating. And we are going to make it. All right. We are going to make it. I am deserving. You are deserving. Love, 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 and blessings. And it is a process. It really is. Mwah, I love y'all.